Right, glad to have you back. It's still the morning show here on Arise News with myself, of course, Andy, and my colleague Adesua Omorwan. We uh, take you through uh, the papers for today, and we're starting with this day. And uh, the headline, Ondo votes a Jaime Teal balance in a Kuridalu Jagades rematch with two riders. INEC played his free fair poll. Uh, police deployed 33,783. Promise maximum security. Um, well, uh, Kuridalu is from Owo in the northern senatorial district. Jagades is from Akure in the central senatorial district. While well, Ajay is from the southern senatorial district. You can find this story on page five, how uh, Ajayi made till the balance between the two uh, main contending parties, that is the APC and the PDP, Akedalu, and of course, uh, Jagade, uh, in, uh, what do you call that color? Something like yellow there. And SARS protest on violence in Oshon, Abuja, commotion in Lagos, with a rider, Buhari appeals for calm orders, I to implement reforms. And then of course, uh, uh, Let's go to the masthead, NSA, 712 billion naira presidential amnesty money unaccounted for, 712 billion. But the writer says DQO appointed to clean the mess. And in blue there, uh, sky blue, you have banking sector, credit rises to 18.9 trillion nationwide. Bank, bankers are borrowing more and uh, people are... Uh, taking loans more than just below uh, the under votes uh, by the left there. Police commission dismisses ACP nine senior officers. You can find that on page page six. The SAS story on page page five, and of course the banking sector story on page fifteen. The um, somewhere around twelve billion presidential amnesty money on page five, and of course on the front page you have the strengths weaknesses of Akari Dolu and strengths weaknesses of uh, the picture there of Aitayo. Uh, uh, Jagada, over to you uh, at this one. Okay, thank you, Indy. Uh, you know, if there's any front page that doesn't have the Ondo elections uh, this morning, <laughs> it would be somewhat a base. That, that's a story uh, this so morning. That's Fast a story today. Vanguard uh, does have a bold uh, front headline there with pictures of the three main candidates. If you consider this a three-horse race in Ondo State. I call it a two-horse race. Uh, well, well Ajayi, some, some will say Ajayi. you cannot, you cannot <laughs> you know, wish too. away Agwala Jai because <laughs> of so many factors, but I think that we'll get to that in the course of the program this morning. Uh, when you just look at even the local government he comes from, the senator district he comes from, yeah. the, power, the fact that he's the incumbent deputy governor, and, you know, like this they rightly said, he might just be the deciding yeah, factor. But this day even says, they said to that's two major... But they, do, they say mean, he could tilt, so that's a powerful tilting, position. Just tilting. For you to be able to tilt, tilt the vote, then you stand a good chance. No, dark so that's horse. It. it means you're a exactly, dark horse. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so uh, the bold headline there, party stalwarts bury differences with uh, 2023 in mind. Um, Tinubu sacrifices, fire miss plots on play. A lot of riders following that story. Mount pick up a copy uh, to follow through. Above the mass, mass head there, budget 2021, presidency to spend 3.2 billion naira on travels. Hmm, interesting. The picture of the president and his vice there. And right beside that, NSAS protests, gunshots, violence as protesters, police clash. Seven arrested, five exotic, exotic cars impounded. Lagos Assembly wants federal SARS scrapped, replaced with new outfits. I don't know if that's the answer. That's, you uh, see, it's, 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 it's more it. of a... It, uh, that's something I was thinking about this thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's more of a bandwagon thing. It's more of an emotional outpouring instead of sitting down to reason this out. Because yeah. or, this is uh, anti robbery squad, special anti-robbery squad, if they have along the line deviated from their mandate, mm -hmm. it should be called back for me. Reform. Instead of replacing them with another Yeah, and reform. Outfits. Because if you take them out, all arm robbers do. Uh, what, how will you handle arm robbers? Well, we do have, or there are those who argue that we do have the police. Yeah, we have the police. Yes. But these people were capped out of the police for this special task. So it means they have something extra. Maybe extra training, extra it's not, uh, intelligence. You, know, you do make a point. It's not all been bad for the That's special anti robbery squad because yeah. they've, they've had some good moments. If you look at uh, some of the um, major 
kidnapping kingpings. I mean, they were arrested and uncovered by the Sox. special anti-robber yeah. squad. It's not all been bad, but yeah. then again, they will say some occupation cannot afford to have bad eggs. Well, I wonder that if there is none that will not have, but it's just the, the extent of the bad eggs and, and how you're able to rein them in. Yes, yes. So that, that's, that's on the front page. Uh, Aseba massacre, terrible blotch on Nigeria's history. My miraculous escape from kidnappers, then 57 year old once, uh, female Guba aspirant. And we're now relieved Ghana is dead. Our other brother recounts how family members began, became fugitives. Says politicians hired him to kill opponents, bought property on his behalf, worth over 200 million, and a lot more on the front page of Saturday Banget. All right, uh, let's uh, see what Saturday Telegraph is saying. And Saturday Telegraph, interestingly, is looking at this from a different perspective. For local governments, godfathers to decide on their election, found on pages three and four, but with four riders. Parties spend billions to woo voters. Vote buying, why don't they spend billions to make the environment where the voters live better? You know, vote buying has become a pandemic. Civil society situation room. NSCDC deploys sniffer dogs. More than 7,000 personnel for poll. APC chieftain asked court to disqualify a Kerdalu and others. <laughs> That's interesting. A party person asking his party candidate to be disqualified. All right, uh, let's look at other stories on this front page. Suspected food poisoning claims seven members of same family in Edo. Oh, that's a tragedy. Page 30. Mm -hmm. Rail line to Niger Republic ploy to move herdsmen to Nigeria. This is uh, the point of view of Representative Fuet. You can get that on pages 26 and 30. And just below that, Alpha Beta Defense in Ibu Tacos. At Mara, over at Ledge Fund, page five. Then by the side of the uh, lead story, 2021 budget proposal contravenes Fiscal Responsibility Act. That's coming from Atiku, page four. IPPIS asks to vows to resist government's attack on Varsity's autonomy, page six. Record revenue. Custom earns 13.1 billion, processes 18 million tons of exports at Onneport. Data protection generates more than 2 billion. Pantami, pages 8, 30, 8 and 30. All right, uh, a nightmare in SARS cells by victims. But I call Syria woman killer sentenced to death. And very quickly, last week, Saturday Tribune, a uh, board headline as well. Ondo poll, SSS identifies 27 danger spots by cell votes, go to jail, INEC wants. OAUVC won't be returning officer, says INEC, how 1.4 million voters will elect next governor. And uh, above the mast, dots below the mast head there, Alpha Beta, XMD 530, over to Nubu Rider. Both sides allege multi billion naira sleaze. And just bottom of the front page there, how SAS operatives source money for operations. That's coming from the ex squad leader. That should make an interesting read. And finally, IGP orders manhunt for killers of policemen in Delta. Unfortunately, the protest in Delta State turned ugly as one policeman was killed and another was injured. See, that's the point. I don't know what I will have some seconds. Uh, punch. Okay, have 20 seconds. Punch. anti sars protest against support in UK, US, South Africa, and Canada. Uh, then just uh, the picture of uh, the governor of the state exploded Lagos gas plant operated without planning limit investigation. The question to ask is, how did they get to begin operate without a uh, permit? That is uh, where you hold the government accountable. Whether it's the uh, a state or the local government, they should be held accountable. This thing shouldn't happen. All right, just at the master there, Akeridolu Jegede Ajay in tight race under 2020, a state holds seven government polls in 44 years and that's all we can take from the newspaper review this morning on this special edition of the morning show